Ooh-ah! A fiery horse with a speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver. The Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion, Toto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Let's go, big fellow. Are you Silver? Hey! Four men had spent the night on Lost Hope Desert. Two were lawmen and the other two were prisoners. Sheriff Bart Sanders and his deputy, Greg Morton, had taken turns on guard. Idaho Keller had slept all night, but his partner, Wart Werner, had only pretended to sleep. Lying quietly near the water hole, Wart had worked steadily and methodically on the rope that held his hands together. His efforts were rewarded at daybreak. Idaho... Hey, Idaho, wake up. Uh, what's that? Oh, morning, huh? Oh, I'm so lame I can hardly move. Listen to me, Idaho. I've been working on these ropes all night. I think I can slip my hands out. Can you, Wart? Can you? I've got to be more careful now that it's light. You keep an eye on the lawmen. Let me know when they look this way. I'm watching them. They're getting breakfast now. Yeah, I know. Hey, I got one hand loose. I have the other one in just a second. I'll hunch forward a little bit and shield me. You'd better hurry, Wart. The sheriff will be coming to feed us in a jiffy. That does it. Now hold still. I'll see what I can do about untying you. Keep your hands behind your back when I get you untied. We'll have to jump the sheriff and his deputy to get the gun. Leave it to me. How you coming? Be patient, will you? With what we've learned since we started out from White Rapids, we can make a clean-up on this trip. Pull your hands apart a little. Yeah, that does it. Now I can get this knot. Hey, Dave, yeah, I see the prisoners are awake, eh? Yeah. I hope you two had some rest. We got lots of trouble ahead of you. Answer him. How do you expect a man to rest when he's hog-tied like a calf for Brandon? You gents needn't complain. You might have tied your feet as well as your hands. Uh, Hey, uh, I don't want you. Now keep your hands behind you until we get the chance to act. That's right. Hey, Chef. Do we get some vittles or do you aim to starve us? All right. Get to your feet. I'll untie you one at a time so she can eat. Thanks. Yeah. Glad to know you don't expect us to go all the way to ten strike on an empty stomach. Well, turn around, Ward, and I'll... <laughs> What's surprised, huh? Hey, Chef. What's the matter? You make a move and I'll let daylight through you. Here, Idaho. Take the sheriff's other gun. I got it. Oh, yeah. you get free? Give your hands for the yard, deputy. Disarm him, Idaho. I'll do that pronto. Boys, you're making a big mistake. You were slated for three years in jail. If you're smart, you'll take it as it stands. I don't like jail. Me neither. You won't like a hangman's rope either. 
That's what you'll get if you shoot Lorman. We don't aim to shoot you, Sheriff. Me and Idaho don't like murder or hangman. You and your deputy just take it easy and we'll leave you without so much as a scratch. And you can't get away. No? Well, you just better not bet on that. Sheriff, you thought you were being smart. You told everybody you were taking us to stand strike by way of the pass. <laughs> you figured that if we had pals, they'd be waiting in the pass to free us. So you spread the story, but instead of going through the pass, you're cutting across the desert. What about it? Here's what about it. Nobody knows you came this way. No one will think to look for you in the desert. Meaning what? Meaning we don't have to kill you. All we have to do is leave you here without a horse. Maybe you can walk to Ten Strike, but I doubt it. We won't have to walk. We'll run you two down if it's the last thing we do. You know better than that, Sheriff. Who's to find you? No one crosses this desert. Now listen, Ward. You leave us here without horses, it's the same as murder. Not quite the same, Greg. There's a lot of difference. Now, Idaho, you take that deputy's badge. <laughs> Always thought I'd like a lawman's badge. Sheriff, <laughs> I'll help myself to that star you're wearing. Bad, bad joke for you. No. <laughs> Next time, I'll hit you with this gun barrel. Now, I'll take that badge. Don't move. <laughs> Don't try anything foolish. All right. You've got my badge. What good will it do you? Plenty of good. You know, Sheriff, you talk too much. What do you mean? You and your deputy figured that you were safe in discussing plans in front of me in Idaho. You told about the trip you're aiming to make to Littlefield after turning us over to the law in Ten Strike. I remember that, Ward. They were to pick up a shipment of gold from the Littlefield stage and take it to the bank at White Rapids. That's right, Idaho. With these badges and the credentials of the lawmen... What's to stop us from picking up that gold? <laughs> Only we won't take it to the bank at White Rapids. <laughs> if you think you can get away with anything like that, Sheriff, you... I remember you saying to your deputy that neither of you were known in Littlefield. Yeah. <laughs> now, hold still while I get your credentials. Seems to me you keep them in your shirt pocket. Yeah. Now, hold still, lawman. Don't move. Now, here they are. You got them, Wart? Uh, yeah, yeah. These are what we need, Idaho. Now we'll eat that breakfast and shove on, taking all the horses with us. Two days of travel took Wart Werner and Idaho Keller beyond the desert. They led the horses belonging to the sheriff and his deputy into a woods. As they approached a clear stream of running water in the heart of the forest, the outlaw named Wart signaled a halt. Oh, oh there, oh, oh there, oh. Yeah, it's mighty good to get out of the sun. Yeah. We'll water the horses here. Right. Steady, boy. And while we're at it, I'm going to douse my face in that stream. It looks cool. That's a good idea. Uh, that water is cool, Wart. Uh, feels good to get uh, that desert dust off your face, don't it? Uh, yeah. You want my extra bandana to dry your face? Thanks. Uh, What's our next move, Ward? We gotta hide our saddles. You know what for? We'll have to ride the lawman's horses into Littlefield. That means we gotta turn our own critters loose. I never thought of that. We'll hide our saddles so as nobody can find them. Yeah, savvy. Well, we might as well get to it. Ward and Idaho hid their saddles and then turned their horses loose. Riding the horses of the sheriff and the deputy, they emerged from the woods and proceeded along the trail to Littlefield. Idaho. Yeah? Look across there. See them two riders? Yeah. What about... Hey, one of them's a redskin. The other's wearing a mask. Get that out of hole? A man wearing a mask is generally hiding from the law. We can maybe team up with him. <laughs> oh, you give me a laugh. Yeah, what's funny? Look at the badges we wear. You're a deputy and I'm a sheriff. We're law. We got authority. But I don't... We could use a little cash till we get our hands on that gold, couldn't we? You mean... I that... mean we're going to use our authority as officers of the law. We'll stop those fellas. After stopping them, we'll help ourselves to any cash they have handy. <laughs> yeah, I gotta hand it to you, Wart. You're smart. Being crooks, those two won't be likely to complain to the law. Come on, let's go after them. Get up there. Get up, boy. Come on. Hold on there. Stop where you are. Don't go for your guns. Hold there. Hold, 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 hold. Come on, boy. Is that a sheriff's bed? You bet it is. Now raise your hands. Why? Because I say so, I'm the law. 
Out here. This is Littlefield County. Ben Lathrop is sheriff here. I don't know who you are or where you came from, but I do know you haven't any authority. Tell them who you are, Sheriff. I'm Sheriff Sanders from White Rapids, and this is my deputy. Neither one of us has taken any lip from outlaws. If you're arresting us, you must have a charge. There don't need to be any charge. We're looking for stolen cash. We'll search you and the Indian. You're mighty high-handed. We're not outlaws, and we have nothing that's been stolen. Don't argue with them, Sheriff. I don't intend to. I'll cover them, Deputy. You search them. Looks to me as though a couple of crooks are wearing lawman's badges. I'm not going to be searched. Oh, no? No. At them, Silver! No, 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 no. Me fix them now! The white laser guided Silver directly forward so suddenly that the outlaws were caught off guard. He knocked aside the gun that Idaho was holding while Tonto charged into Wart. In a moment, it was over. Wart and Idaho were sprawled on the ground beside their horses while the masked man and Tonto were still in the saddle. All right, come on, Tonto. We get away from here. Maybe finish these fellows. Not now, Tonto. Come on. Come on, Silver! Get him up, Scott! My gun. Where'd they knock my gun? How'd I know? Shoot him, Idaho. Shoot him. Get him both. I can't find my gun. There's one here. Oh, it's no use, Ward. No use shooting now. They're out of range. You wouldn't have a chance of hitting them. Doggone uh, it. Ward, it looks like we overplayed our hand. Those critters outsmarted us. They didn't outsmart me. It's just that that masked man's horse was too darn fast. <laughs> Those fellas are not follow us. No. Why we ride away? Why not stay? Teach them good lessons. They're supposed to be lawmen, Toto. Uh, not good lawmen. They said they were from White Rapids. I'd like to know what kind of law they have in that city. We we go there? Yes, I think we shall. Cross desert? No, that route is too hard on the horses. We go through the pass. Monsilla! Get him up, scout! After a long, hard ride, the Lone Ranger and Tonto reached the vicinity of White Rapids. The masked man remained in camp while Tonto went into town to make inquiries. When the faithful Indian rejoined his friend, he had much to report. Look as though you found out something, Tonto. <clears throat> Me learn plenty. Yes. Feller we meet, not lawman from White Rapids. That's what I thought. Me talk with feller in town. Him show picture of sheriff and deputy. Are they the men we met? No. Feller we meet, prisoners of law. Sheriff and deputy take them from White Rapids to jail in ten strike. Toto, are you sure of that? Uh, me sure. And those prisoners overpowered the law and stole the badges. Uh, they may have killed the sheriff and the deputy with him. No, me not think so. Outlaws' names, Wart Verner and Idaho Keller. Wart Verner and Idaho Keller, yes, I've heard of them. I've heard they never kill. Man in town say sheriff take prisoners to ten strike, then go to Littlefield to get gold for bank. Gold? That right. Sage, bring gold to Littlefield. Sheriff, go there, get gold, bring back. So that's why those crooks stole the badges. Outlaws pose as lawmen. Yes, they make a play for the gold at Littlefield. Stage do there in two days. There's no time to get someone from White Rapids. But I think Silver and Scout can make the trip. We have two things to do, Tonto. Huh? We must protect that gold, and we must find out what happened to the sheriff and his deputy. That right. Steady, Silver, we're traveling, big fella. Start now? Yes, easy, big boy. Let's go, Tonto. Uh-huh. Me ready. Monsilver! Get him up, scouts! The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
to continue our story. When the Lone Ranger and Tonto learned that men they had met on the trail were outlaws posing as lawmen, they raced toward the town of Littlefield in an effort to prevent the theft of a shipment of gold and to learn the fate of a missing sheriff and his deputy. It was shortly after dark when the masked man and the Indian dismounted in front of the sheriff's office in Littlefield. There's no light in the sheriff's office, Toto. Maybe sheriff's not in. I see a light in the jail in the back of the building. Someone may be on guard back there. We go see? Yes, come on. Door's unlocked. Nobody here. Cells in the back are empty. Me see him. Maybe sheriff come by and by. We haven't time to wait for him. What do we do now? The only thing we can do is to go to the office of the stage line. Tell the manager what we know. You know fella in the stage office? No, I don't. Uh, maybe him not believe you. We have to try to make him believe us. Come on. There, stage office on the other side of the street. Yes, there's a light in the office. The manager must be there. But I'll make sure he's alone before I go inside. Here, here window. Yes. Wait till I look into the office. You, you see manager? One man in there. He's writing at the desk. Maybe better me wait out here. Yes. If you see anyone heading for the office, warn me. Uh-huh. What the... Take it easy. Mask. Don't be alarmed. Who are you? Is this a holdup? No, it's no holdup. Don't reach in that drawer. Put your hand back. All right, all right. Don't fire. The gun is merely for protection. What do you want here? Are you the manager of the stage line? Yes, I am. Good. You're the man I want to talk to. <laughs> As the manager, I can tell you there's nothing here for you to steal. I didn't come here to steal anything. A masked man holding a gun makes a statement like that hard to believe. Now, listen to me. I know there's a stage due to arrive tonight. That stage is carrying a shipment of gold. So you plan to steal it, huh? No. I came to warn you against outlaws. What outlaws? Two men came to Littlefield within the last three or four days. They represented themselves as a sheriff and deputy from White Rapids. Yeah, they're down at the cafe now. They're not lawmen. Not lawmen? No. One of them is a crook named Wart Werner. The other is known as Idaho Killer. Ah, uh, you're loco. One Sheriff Sanders from White Rapids and the other is Deputy Greg Morton. Do you know Sheriff Sanders by sight? No, but I saw his credentials. The badge and papers were stolen from the real sheriff. I don't believe it. Well... That's up to you. You're up to some scheme. You want me to keep that gold here so you can get it. Even if you don't believe me, you can take precautions. Call in the local sheriff and ask him to guard the gold until I can prove my statement. The sheriff's out of town. And you most likely knew it. Then get other men. Get your friends. That's just what I'm going to do. Good. Good enough. But don't turn over the gold to the men who are posing as White Rapids lawmen. Mister, how do you aim to prove what you told me? Well, I've got to find the real Sheriff Sanders. But to do that, I'll need your help. You want me to help you? Yes. Please listen to me before you say any more. The Lone Ranger talked at length to detail the reason for his suspicions and of his plan to expose the crooks and learn the fate of Sheriff Bart Sanders and his deputy. Bill Clay, the agent, listened with increasing interest. In the end, he agreed to cooperate. The masked man left the office to rejoin Tonto. <laughs> It was about an hour later when the masquerading crooks left the cafe and strolled toward the station. <laughs> In just a little while, Idaho, we'll have our hands on more gold than we ever saw before. The stage is due now. Ah, uh, but it's usually a few minutes late. Ah, uh, that's Clay the agent on the steps of the station. Howdy, Clay. Howdy, Sheriff. We thought we'd be here when the stage got in so we wouldn't have to waste time collecting the gold and starting for home. Uh-huh. Sit down. Yeah. Right. We didn't hanker for the job of coming for this gold, but the bank in White Rapids is mighty anxious to get it. <laughs> I reckon so, Sheriff. Hey, Clay, here's the stage. Well, just about on time. Look at her come. Come on, Deputy. Are you sure the gold will be on board the stage, Clay? It'll be there, all right. Whoa! Whoa, you crazy! Whoa! What a skinny boy! Whoa! Hey, Jed. Howdy, Clay. Get that box I'm expecting from Painesville? Yes, right here. 
You'll have to give me a hand with it. Is that the box we're looking for, Clay? Yep. I'll help you carry it to the office. Hand it down, Jed. Uh, here she comes. Uh, grab hold the end of it. Let it go. I'll get the other end. There you are. I got it. Come on, Clay. All right. Watch out for the steps, fellas. Yeah, we'll make it. It's going on heavy. I'll have to split the load to carry it on our horses. Yeah. Yeah, now just carry it into the desk, then we can set it out. Right. Put it down right here. There we are. Ah, it was mighty heavy. Make quite a load for our saddlebags. Close the door, Deputy. We don't want folks to see what we got here. Yeah, sure. You help us load up, Clay? Yeah. Yeah, just as soon as there's one more thing attended to. What's that? Well, you know, the paper from the bank. Huh? What paper? <laughs> I don't mean to say you forgot it, Sheriff. What are you talking about? Yeah, Sheriff, you know as well as I do, I'm not turning over this gold. You give me that paper. Ah, look here, Clay. Don't you trust me? We showed you our credentials. What more do you want? I got word from the bank in White Rapids that you two would be here for this gold. But at the same time, I was told you'd have a letter from the bank to show me. Now, see here. If you figure to stall if us If you're off... on the level, you'll produce the letter. You can't show the letter, I'll figure you as a pair of crooks. What? That being the case, you'll probably try a stick-up and get shot by men who are ready and waiting for just such a move. You're calling us crooks? Hold on. Come to think of it, there was a paper given me by the bank, but I didn't pay much attention to it. Must be with my things at the hotel. Go get it, then you can have the gold. Then again, maybe I lost it back on the trail somewhere. I threw away some things where we made camp one night. Paper isn't at the hotel. Me and my deputy will have to ride back and look for it. I'll wait here for half an hour or so, Sheriff, in case you do find it at the hotel. Thanks. We're not back in half an hour. You'll hold that gold for a day or so. Ward, why didn't we pull guns and take the gold? Don't be a fool, Idaho. We wouldn't have had a chance. Now what? We gotta get that letter. We gotta go back to that water hole on the desert and get that letter from the sheriff. But maybe the sheriff and the deputy have left the water hole. Not a chance. They're not fools enough to leave it, not to go walking across the desert on foot. They know they'd die. They'll stay near water and I hope someone will find them. Yeah, I hope you're right. I didn't hear the sheriff say anything about a letter. He must have it. Sure he is. We'll get it. Marooned by Wart and Idaho and without hope of rescue, Sheriff Sanders and his deputy made the best of a bad situation. The desert water hole afforded them drink, but they were weak from hunger when the fourth night closed in. Sheriff, I wonder if there's a worse way to die than this. Quit talking about it. That don't help any. Yeah, I know. I was just wondering. It's food I'm thinking of. I suppose it helps to think of that. Of course you don't. How can you stop thinking about it when your ribs are nudging your backbone? Maybe we shouldn't have stayed here. What else could we do? We could have started walking. Without canteens? Traveling where even a horse has a hard time of it? If we'd have done that, we wouldn't be sitting here worrying about grub. We'd be grub. Grub for buzzards. Why can't someone ride along this way? Now, that's a foolish question. We wouldn't have come here this way ourselves. If I hadn't been afraid someone would try to get those crooks away from us. Before we reach the ten-strike jail. Sometimes I get to wishing so hard for someone to come along, I, I begin to imagine I hear him. Like now. Yeah, shoot it. Say, hold on, Greg. That does sound like a horseman. I can't be. Now, listen. Hey, you're right. I can make out the riders now. Hey. Huh? I, I can't be sure. But in the moonlight, those horses look like ours. There they are. We figured we'd find you fellas here. Oh, hold up. Uh, it's oh, oh, you, you came back to get us? Steady, boy. Don't get your hopes up. Uh, you it's not you we came for. It's a letter you have. You might as well hand it over, Sheriff, without putting up a fuss. Right now, you don't look like you could put up much of a fight. What letter are you talking about? You know the one. The letter they gave you at the bank. At the bank? Playing dumb, huh? Well, I won't get you anywhere. Stand up. Good week, huh? Stand up, I said. You... Uh, that's better. You got all my papers. We'll soon find out. How the whole keep your shooting iron aimed at these two while I search them? Right. I'll start with you, Sheriff. Uh, you loco. Uh, the bank didn't give me a letter. What would they do that for? Nothing in these pockets. Why would the bank give you a letter? 
The manager of the stage line at Littlefield would turn the gold over to you. I don't know what you're talking about. Sheriff, don't handle that, Idaho. I'll search the deputy. Oh, listen, Shut you... Shut up. That's funny. Don't find it anywhere. You suppose they're hidden it somewhere? They might have. You two are local. Listen, Sheriff, I never killed a man before. There's a lot of gold waiting for me in Littlefield if I get back with that letter. Enough gold to make a killing worthwhile. So start telling what you did with that letter and talk fast. I don't know anything about the letter, I tell you. All right. If that's the way you want it, here it is. Oh, oh, my hand. Raise your hand, both of you. Uh, what? It's a mess, man. Uh, it's a rich kid. You had a hole. Drop your gun. Uh, I am. My hand's hurt. Manage his hand, Toto. Rope both of them. Miss you, that man's cool. Sheriff, Sheriff, you and your deputy can ride double with us. We'll help you take these crooks to jail in ten strike. Then you can go on to Littlefield and get the gold. For my mask, I'm giving you no more information. Oh, Mister, I don't care who you are. You're all right. You, if you hadn't come here... Ah, listen, Wart. The sheriff knew nothing about a letter. Because there was no letter. What? But Clay told the us... The manager of the stage line told you that to send you here. So you'd lead us to the sheriff. You... You tricked us. Well, I'll be doggone you know, it almost makes me forget how hungry I am. Just thinking of how that masked man fooled you two. Crook's tied up now. And on horses. Good enough, Kimasabi. Here, get on my horse, Sheriff. Steady, Silver. All right, up with you. Greg will ride with Toto. Uh, me help him. Thanks, Indian. You're helping us take those skunks here? Yes, and right now. Easy, big fella. Easy. Ready, Toto? Uh, steady. Me ready. Take me. I got it now. This is the Lone Ranger. Get along, you two. Yeah, for sure. Go on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. I'll Silver! This is a feature of The Lone Ranger Incorporated, created and produced by George W. Trendle and directed by Charles D. Livingston. Tonight's story was written by Fran Stryker. The part of The Lone Ranger is played by Brace Beamer.